I normally don't cover these topics on my channel. I just rant in comments like a normal crazy person. But Bamboo Lab have done something that has far reaching consequences. And I worried when I see so many users just dismissing this as either you should have known better or it doesn't affect me. Uh, just let me catch you up. They've recently implemented some changes that restrict how users can use their printers and basically demonstrated that they have full control of your printer if they want to exercise that control. So what's at stake here isn't just convenience or compatibility. It's about ownership and control and the future of consumer rights and technology. So before I dive in, let me just make something clear. I own a Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. I paid full price for it. Um, I didn't receive any free products or sponsorship from Bamboo Lab or any other 3D printer or manufacturer. So I have no affiliations or kickbacks from any of the other companies. So first, let's start with the obvious. Why is this a problem for Bamboo Lab users? I'm sure you've seen a bunch of videos commenting on this. But the heart of the issue is the new authorization system that they introduced. So this effectively locks you into Bamboo's proprietary ecosystem. So they frame it as security and privacy enhancement. But the reality is that it grants them the ability to alter, restrict, or disable functionality on your device without your consent. So if they choose to brick your printer or not, that's not the point. The fact is they can, and this is why you should be concerned. Let me give you a simple example. So imagine you bought a car, you drive it for a few months, and then the manufacturer decides to roll out an update that limits how far you can drive at night because we care about your safety and it's not safe driving at night. And that's basically what Bamboo Lab is doing. This is not about closed source firmware or their unwillingness to share code or anything like that. And this is not to mention the entire point of security. What kind of architecture do they have that they need to reach into your network and lock down your printer to prevent hackers from using it. If I have a router at home, then I already have a firewall and my printer is not visible from the outside unless they designed it in such a way that it basically creates a hole in your network. Then there is the whole matter of terms of service and privacy policy. Bamboo Lab recently updated those uh, documents on their website and they quickly removed the original versions from public archives like the Wayback Machine. So why would they do this? Documents are proprietary. They're not secrets. They're publicly accessible agreements. The only reason to erase them is to prevent people from seeing what they changed. This behavior is shady at best, and at worst, it's their attempt at avoiding accountability and responsibility. And when users called them out for this entire thing, Instead of just engaging with their customers or with their users, they gaslit us by saying, oh, you're just confused. This is complete misinformation. Except their own terms of service support exactly what users are claiming. It's not confusion or misinformation. It's right there on their own documents. And this dismissive response just undermines the trust and just adds insult to injury for those of us that are trying to hold them accountable. Now let's get to the scary stuff. If they can alter the printer's functionality remotely, what's to stop them from introducing subscriptions, blocking certain models from being printed, or charging extra for advanced features, like being able to use the Orca slicer? Once that infrastructure is in place, it's just a matter of flipping a switch. If you think, oh, they wouldn't do that, well, consider this. You're a company in a tightening economy, and then authoritarian government comes to you and says, hey, listen, you need to pay us more in taxes if you want to stay open. So how long do you think before flipping that switch? And yeah, this is all theoretical until it's not. And if you think, oh, this guy's just throwing baseless accusations, let's look at some other industries. So for example, HP. 
They started with remote updates for their printers, claiming it's for privacy and security. And soon they began locking out third-party ink cartridges. So you're forced to buy only HP products. And now HP has a convenient subscription model. Well, Bamboo Lab just took the first step on the exact same path. So why is this a problem for everyone else? You might think, well, it's your fault for buying their products. I don't own a Bamboo Lab printer, so it doesn't affect me. Okay, so let me go on a bit of a tangent and explain why it just might. So in general, industries follow trends, and certain companies act as trendsetters. Whether you like it or not, for example, Apple is a trendsetter in the mobile market. When they removed their headphone jack from their phones, Samsung users laughed at them. And even Samsung released ads taking jabs at Apple. But what happened a few months later? Headphone jack is gone from Samsung phones. The same thing happened with removing chargers from phone boxes. I don't know if any of you remember this, but they did exact same thing. First Apple removed it, Samsung made fun of them, and now charges aren't included with their phones either. And those weren't coincidences. They were calculated moves that became industry norms because some Apple customers said, oh, it's not a big deal. And non-Apple customers said, well, that doesn't affect me. Why should I care? Well, now everybody's affected. And in 3D printing world, Bamboo Lab positioned itself as a trendsetter. They've even been called the Apple of 3D printing. Admittedly, their printers are high quality, they're user-friendly, they're wildly popular. I own one, I enjoy it much more than the FLSUN QQS Pro that I had. But with that popularity comes influence. And what do you think other companies will do if they see Bamboo Lab's users accept these changes without any resistance? They will see it as a green light to do the same. Why support open ecosystems or third-party options when you can just lock your customers into your own cloud and then decide if you want to charge them monthly or sell their data or both? This is a part of a larger trend across various industries, companies figuring out how much they can take away while still keeping customers paying. Instead of competing by improving quality, companies are now competing to see how far they can push boundaries without losing their customer base. We're basically living through the golden age of enshittification. And you all know this practice stifles competition and innovation. When competition dies, monopolies happily take their place. And you know this. I don't have to explain how that works. So if we let Bamboo Lab or any other company really get away with this, then we're not just losing control of our devices. We're continuing to set a precedent for every other company to follow. Well, now what can we do about it? So first of all, make your voice heard. Reach out to Bamboo Lab directly. Email them, post on their forums, tag them on social media, whatever is easier for you. Just let them know that this is unacceptable. Companies gauge how far they can go based on this feedback. So it's crucial that you speak up in a way that they can hear you. The other thing you can do is if you uploaded models to Maker World, delete them or at least make them private. Another thing is vote with your wallet. If Bamboo Labs doesn't reverse the course, then buy from a different manufacturer and preferably from one that prioritizes open ecosystems, user autonomy, and doesn't restrict you from integrating with third-party products. Basically show the market that you value companies that respect customers. And most importantly, spread the word. The more people know about this issue, the harder it will be for Bamboo Lab or any other company to ignore it and quietly implement these kind of insidious changes or gaslight us into silence. I know this is a bit of a long rant, but this isn't just about firmware updates or privacy policies. It's about ownership and the future of consumer rights. If we don't take a stand now, then we risk losing more than just control of our 3D printers. We risk normalizing a future where we don't own anything. And we're not going to be happy.